Guys, I still remember reading on Inside EVs when Tesla first came out with their giga casting. I remember there was so many people on there that came out in the comment section. I think you can probably find these articles if you if you tried. First time, giga casting, Tesla said, you know what? This is going to be huge for the automotive industry. It's going to reduce the weight of cars, make them safer, lighter, make them much cheaper to produce. And there was these people in the comments. It was on Inside EVs and out of the websites as well saying, I'm an engineer, this is, a, this is a terrible idea, it's another insane, ridiculous, nonsensical idea from Elon Musk, who is a diabolical maniac, giga casting is a joke, and if it would work, if it was a good idea, the automotive industry would have done it decades ago. I remember numerous people liking these comments, I mean, there was like hundreds of them, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, I think you could tell them up to be thousands on the YouTube videos talking about it when it first came out. They were like, if if this was a good idea, Audi would have been doing this at least 30 years ago. This is an absolute disaster, and it's going to end in disaster. Well, interestingly, um, now Toyota plans on it. Hyundai have begun doing it. Xpeng do it. Uh, half of the Chinese automotive industry do it. And now Honda has just purchased six gigacasting machines. Yeah, turns out actually... It was a good idea. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. And thank you for supporting the channel by becoming a member on Patreon or supporting us as a YouTube member. I really appreciate your support. Honda says it has actually already installed six 6,000-ton high-pressure die-casting machines at the Anna engine plant in the United States. So... It's a done deal, guys. They're already there in existence. So this is um, actually taking over the entire automotive industry. In fact, ironically, uh, Toyota actually, when they took apart a Tesla Model Y, they called the engineering. They said it was genius. That's what Toyota's engineers said. That's a direct quote from Toyota themselves. According to the Bueller Group, Honda has purchased six gigacasting machines, which they call mega casting machines or whatever. It's the same thing. The Japanese car manufacturer has invested in several Bueller Carat 610 die casting machines to accelerate the production of electric cars in the USA. Honda actually mentioned why they're doing this, and well, there's a fair few reasons. One of them, it's much cheaper. According to Honda, they will initially be building uh, the Acura RSX SUV using giga casting machines, but also the Honda O Saloon and the Honda O SUV presented at CES in 2025. A central component will be supplied from the Anna engine plant. Bueller has, well, Bueller, the, who, the company in Sweden who manufacture these machines, they've announced that Honda will manufacture the housings for its intelligent power units using the Swiss company's equipment. The IPU housings also contain the battery and serve as the main frame for the electric cars from Honda and Acura. The frames molded in the mega casting machines are transported from Anna in the United States to Marysville, uh, where the battery modules are then assembled and the actual vehicle is built. Bueller comments on the advantages in the press release in general terms, and this is not specific for Honda, but this is for all car manufacturers. They say this, mega casting reduces complexity in production as between 70 and 100 parts can be replaced in a single die cast part. So you imagine you do this at the front of the car and at the rear of the car, you're looking at up to 200 parts plus a lot of companies now are sort of doing it in a structural battery pack as well that includes some, some measure of giga casting. That, can also, that also reduces the number of parts. In fact, Toyota said that they're going to reduce parts by 300, 300 down to two. And the cost advantages are enormous. The speed advantages are enormous. I mean, honestly, everyone is doing this. And if you're not doing this within the next five years, in my opinion, you just can't make EVs competitively. Honda says it, is, it has installed six 6,000-ton high-pressure die-casting machines at the Anna engine plant. The battery case is much larger than anything Honda has ever die-cast before and is made in two halves, which are welded together at a later process at their actual factory, Honda's factory. Installation of die-cast machines required modifications to the plant, including the replacement of pylons 80 feet below the concrete surface of the plant floor, to provide a stable foundation for the 31 foot tall machines. I mean, that's a lot of engineering work going into 
structurally, structurally reinforcing the floor. I'll just mention that again. I mean, imagine how deep you'd have to actually dig for that. Honda tested the production processes with the new machines in Japan, where the first carrot machine went into operation in March of 2024. So they're already using these machines in Japan. As part of the test, the molding temperature, pressure, molding speed, and cooling speed were varied in order to investigate the effects on the properties of the parts. This should simplify commissioning in the United States, as the entire casting process can be precisely controlled using various fully automated peripheral devices in order to achieve reproducible results. Now, this is one of the challenges that Tesla had. Initially, when they were you know, producing these gear casting parts, they had a lot of rejects because a lot of them weren't, the metal was either kind of cooling too quickly and then had problems and the, the actual casting parts would deform. So the actual ingredients going into these machines, you know, the ingredients in the metal had to be adapted to allow for this process. The IPU case is much larger than anything Honda has die cast before. It will be die cast in two pieces and welded together. In other words, they're basically taking two 6,000 ton mega cast pieces, enormous pieces, and putting them together. So this should actually reduce parts by around 200 in each car. In-house production of IPUs is a first for Honda, said Bueller. Bueller is equipped to support Honda in the venture with its experienced process engineers and extensive technological know-how alongside the advanced Carrot 610 die casting machine to ensure the successful production of the IPU case. Now, as you can see, the entire automotive industry is moving towards giga casting. If you don't already do it, then you're inefficient. You're like the Volkswagen group who take three times as long to build an EV versus what Tesla take. Now, Tesla are the fastest in the industry when it comes to building electric cars, but there are some companies in China, such as Xpeng and Xiaomi, who are also producing their cars in about 60 seconds. Tesla does it in about 30 seconds. But you can see here, guys, uh, when I say producing the cars in that amount of time, I mean, that's the amount of vehicles that actually get through the factory, out of the factory every 30 seconds, Tesla does. But here's the thing. They're not stopping here. Companies aren't going, you know, giga casting a few separate pieces. These gig casting machines are getting bigger and bigger. I mean, Xiaomi has a machine double this size. It's 12,000 tons. It's like the size, it's actually bigger than my house. A 12,000 ton machine that stamps an enormous piece of metal. How, how does a legacy automaker compete with that, right? If you're not doing it that way, then building a car, you're talking 300 parts. You've got to weld, stamp, glue together. And those are all things that can fail in a crash. It means the cars are obviously not going to be as safe. Now, one of the key concerns with gear casting that people have said is, well, what about if um, you know it deforms in a crash and you know you won't have to replace the entire car? Well, no, actually, generally you can simply repair the cast part itself. That's happened on thousands and thousands of cars, and it hasn't been a problem. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching.